Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of felting with a felting machine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to felt pictures straight into fabric. This is a two part tutorial so don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the second part. Right, let's begin. Okay, so we're going to make our petals yellow. I'm going to do a vague sunflower. <laughs> Maybe a bit abstract but we'll give it a bash see how it goes. So let's just get some petals together and then we'll see how I'm felting this now. Okay, we'll start with that. <clears throat> we can always add more as we go. So most felting is an experiment, so you really do just have to give things a try and see how it works for you. Let's do. So I'm going to start with the multi-needle. If we find it's making too much, damaging the fabrics too much, we'll start again. We'll, we'll switch. Sorry, we'll switch to a, a single needle. But for now, let's just give it, see the multi-needle, and see if that will work for us. You'll see now why I can cut it because we're going to be putting a center on. So. So if you're not going to be using a hoop, then you want to hold your fabric as flat to the machine, as close to the machine bed as you possibly can to stop it from bobbing up and down. Obviously the most ideal is to use an embroidery hoop, but I'm being a bit lazy today. Right, so we're going to put some, this is ordinary acrylic wool, and use this for the center of our flower. So. Let's create a spiral, and then we just stitch that down, fold it down, should I say? Okay, I'm going to start like that and then we'll add more as we're going.
mosaic flower shape happening there. Get some green wool. Again, this is acrylic stuff, it's not real, but it works perfectly. It's amazing. Felting machines are not fussy things, they're great. So I'm going to pull the stem a little bit over the flower like that because it'll get sucked in. So I'll compensate for that when you start. So the single needle is also great for just neatening up the edges like I've just done in the center and we'll just go around some petals. We're using sunflower as our, our um, example, even though it's only vaguely sunflowery. We're gonna still try and make the leaf heart shaped. our multi-needle for the leaf. Thank you. 
three, and then just to neaten things up. Of flower onto fabric. Okay, so now I've taken some very open weave cheesecloth and I'm going to do my next flower with this as the inside. So I'm using an alcohol um, alcohol based ink marker. Again I'm not sponsoring any brands, well I'm not being sponsored by any brands, so. but these are available from cheap shops in the Netherlands. With our base. Right, so we have our base. So that's going to be the centre of our next flower. So that one we're going to put there, and then we'll see how it goes as to how we finish this flower. Okay, so we've got our multi needle back in there, and we're going to start with our nice open weave fabric here. Right. So again, you start in the middle and work my way out. So that's the front, and that's what it's looking like at the back. Okay, so the other colour is coming through there. Right, so that's the centre of our flower. This one we're going to do something slightly different. Right, so you're probably all familiar with the penne pasta trick when it comes to guiding your threads, but just in case you're not, here's how it's done. I use masking tape or painter's tape so it doesn't make any leave any glue behind on the machine. And you take your wool or whatever it is that you're wanting to apply. Okay. Just 
just cut off that soggy bit. Right, so we've got our wool coming through our little bit of pasta over here as its guide. And then I'm going to put that through under the plast plat the finger guard over here. And I've got my single needle in place there. So. Line there. Another one. All right, so on this this wool because it's so thick, I can't actually put it through the pasta. So for this one, I'm just going to do a line of single, and then we'll switch back to the multi needle. We've got it sort of basted in place, should we say? And then we will let me just do that bit again. And then we're gonna switch back to the multi-needle and really fold it into place.
use this weird tealy blue color for the stem. So just to show you, this comes on a thick roll like that. Yes, I've got the leaves of my flower. That's the back. You can see where it's come through. So it's very securely faulted in. But I'm just going to go around my edges with my single needle just to give it a slightly more um, less fluffy edge, shall we say. Just refine the design a little bit. Right, back to our single needle.
it's so slightly more slightly neater around the edges and that's that for today's tutorial next week i'll be showing you how i did the moth and i've got two other felting uh, pictures to show you they're involving slightly different techniques after that i've got a big project planned involving a whole variety of textile embroidery and art techniques so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm looking forward to sharing those with you thanks for watching bye for now